Hi, I'm Tony. This is SV Tapatia, and we are building this cruising sailboat. Yeah, she's a, a Jay Benford designed uh, sailing dory, 32 feet long or 31 foot eight, basically speaking. Um, a couple of things missing, clearly. The keel still to come, the rudder to be hung on the stern, which can only be hung once the keel is on. The boat's up at a full height. A couple of masts still to build because she's going to be a, a junk rigged schooner. Um, the junk rig is perhaps poorly understood in the West, uh, among most people, um, a few enthusiasts of course. Um, and this J. Benford designed sailing dory was, was perhaps made famous by Pete and Annie Hill. Uh, Annie Hill wrote the book Voyaging on a Small Income and they built a 34 foot version of this and sailed it fairly extensively, ocean sailing. But there have been many others built um, since then over the years. One recently, Zebedee, which I believe is a 36, could be a 34. Um, recently completed a circumnavigation, uh, junk rigged schooner, same rig as this one, as Tapatio will be. Uh, Zebedee completed its cir circumnavigation without an engine, so um, perhaps that's testament itself to the sailing ability of this rig. Um, and perhaps the, one of the great beauties of the junk rig is, is that it's fairly low tech. The hull is put under very little strain. You need very little in the way of winches. Things can be handled with, with ropes, blocks and tackles. All fairly simple. And the sails are, are relatively easy to maintain. They last a long time, can be mended quite easily. So it's quite a kindly rig on the hull uh, and the rig itself. This week, have been all about working on the, on the hard top for the bimini. Last week, I was talking about the bimini frame and uh, started making that hard top. Been uh, continuing with that hard, hard top construction this week. So the first job was to uh, take the, all the screws out that I put in holding the first layer of ply onto the frame and then laminate the second layer onto that. Now, unfortunately, my camera, my trusty old camera that's been with me for some four years now, filming, filming me at work, epoxy and painting, welding, grinding, all that, unfortunately, it finally gave up the ghost. Um, <laughs> it said enough's enough. Um, but when it died, or before it died, it had a few flaky moments and uh, had a load of corrupted video files this week, which means, sadly, there are one or two quantum leaps in this week's video work. Um, my apologies, it was out of my control.
So what you doing, Karen? I um, I have collected mushrooms this morning, lots of seps about, um, and I am going to try and dry them because we don't have that much freezer space. Yeah. I'm going to dry them in this drying machine that we bought like in decades ago. Canada, about 25 <laughs> years ago. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. got the wrong plug and Tony ordered um, transformer. a transformer, yes. But yeah. in the meantime, we try to dry it in the sunlight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> got a load of parasols as well, didn't you? Yeah, parasols, exactly. Yes. You're going to cook them. I am, tonight. <laughs> Breaded parasols tonight for dinner. All right. <laughs> Terry and I lifted it up there, tried it in place, marked it out, um, marked it out to its final size and then cut it. One thing that's important to say is that um, when we tried it up there, you should be aware that it was intentionally built too big, oversized. The idea was to fit it, was to sit it up there in place, mark the final dimensions, bring it back down and cut it to shape. Yeah. And I imagine you've also got a Sit down on that anchor box. Bits there, doesn't it? No, a bit short. Come a little bit more to you then. Then rest it down on the anchor box and then I'll come up. Right. When we're nearly at the end of that port bit, so yeah. you'll have to tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let me get in there and grab it. Just
That looks good. then it's a question of, of glassing it. I've glassed it with some very heavy duty biaxial cloth um, to give it a bit of extra strength, which is possibly not necessary, but anyhow.
Nope, got that to you. Yeah. Okay. Drawing is easy. And here it is in all its glory. And Kerry and I have turned it over. Before that, I fitted these trim pieces around the edges. I need to sand up the corners. Run off, run off corners for the water to run off in the corners. Um, trim around the edges to sort of protect the end grain, really. Uh, needs a good clean up. The idea now is to, to tidy up the bottom side, uh, get some paint on it, going to route these edges, uh, make it look nice, get it painted, then flip it back up the other way and epoxy primer, paint the top sides. I have to say I'm very pleased with the final shape. Uh, when we sat it up on there, you know, I liked the lines, I liked the look of it, the height wasn't too high, I felt. And now with that final shape to it, it's going to look significantly better than that. Uh, coming out the side of it to access up onto the raised deck will be easy. Um, I've got some very nice grab rails that will be going on the top to, to give you a grab, funnily enough. Um, and also, of course, the solar panels, the solar installation going on the top. Um, behind the scenes, there's an awful lot goes on all the time. And, and this week, I've spent a lot of time reading up on solar panel installations. I've ordered the solar panels. They're on their way. Um, I've also read up about how to mount them, so uh, I'll be showing you how I go about mounting them to the top of that next time, I dare say, or soon at the very least. Um, elsewhere, a few other bits have gone on as well. I've got the cupboard doors in the heads. I'll probably show you that next time for because of time constraints here today. But yeah, getting on. And that, guys, is where we leave it, I think. Plenty to do. Massive thank you from me to you for watching and to all the marvellous people who support us on, on Patreon and PayPal. We'll be back next time. Be pushing on. See you then. Bye.